Oh my lord. <laughs> okay. Visors down, as they say in Visor Down magazine. Visor down! Oh, thank you, Ewan. Oh, hear those engines roar. <laughs> like the sound. Good morning, world. Welcome back to the channel. It's day number three on the Trans Euro Trail, heading all the way from the south to the north of England. Yes, the trail that uses all the best byways, green lanes and off-road tracks. All the cool places that cars can't go. And we are here in the seaside town of Eastbourne, heading back to where we stopped on the trail yesterday. And it looks like we have a really interesting part of the trail coming up, actually. I looked at it on the map and it looks like a massive series of, I don't know, dikes or little rivers or something. It looks like a crazy area on the map. So it's gonna be really interesting to see what it actually looks like. But let me show you guys on the map where we're gonna be heading. So we are here and today we're gonna to be picking up the trail just north of the town of Hailsham. We'll be taking this loop round here through the town of Lewis over Brighton and Hove and into our third county of the trip, West Sussex. Yes, yeah, so we are continuing our way westerly along the south coast of England. And we have a really interesting point of interest coming up today, which is called the Long Man of Wilmington, which is an ancient Neolithic piece of art, which is basically on the whole side of a mountain. So I'm super excited to see if we can get a glimpse of that. Yeah, it's really funny because it looks actually that the trail will go sort of around this man. Super excited to see how this trail will be. Yeah, and the trail has been really up and down so far i mean on the first day we struggled a lot to make any distance we were just like bumbling through these tiny little single track roads and couldn't really get anywhere basically and the reason is as well because i have absolutely no experience and i was so scared to do some speed you know i mean the farm tracks they were like single tracks it was so narrow and so bushes everywhere. I was just, oh my God, what's going on here? Yeah, but then yesterday we really picked up the trail and we got some distance done. I don't know if it was the tracks are easier or you're just becoming an expert already, but <laughs> you did really well and we managed to make something like 90 miles yesterday. So it's going to be really interesting to see today how it's going to be. Yeah, my body definitely feels very achy already. I feel very stiff. <laughs> I think I have to to do some stretching <laughs> because there are some new muscles growing in my body yeah that means you are getting your trail body ready <laughs> this yeah. is your trail body oh my god you're becoming an adventure trail extraordinaire and on the first day you fell over three times yesterday you just fell over one time yeah i'm surprised myself <laughs> So let's see how we get on. It's just a short ride back to the trail and it's already 9.30. So better hit the road, let's go. Okay, so we have reached the start of our trail and it looks like it's like a big, I don't know, wetland or marshland or something. Yeah, it looks really nice and wild actually. And we saw already a lot of birds. So let's head into it, eh? Let's go. <laughs> My lord. What? Looks like it gets a little bit grassy. Gonna have to probably just walk it through and see how we get on, okay? Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Yeah, just stay on the top of the ridge, actually. Oh man. Yeah, like not not in the rut, stay in the middle. Oh sweet here. 
Oh. Oh. Well, you said it looked quite wild, hey? <gasps> Huh? It is pretty wild. Yeah. Wait. Oh my god. Okay? Yep. <laughs> I mean, seriously? <laughs> Just stay in first gear and follow this line that we're on. Try to keep the enough momentum so you don't tip. For me, it's a little bit difficult to go straight here, you know? Yeah. I have difficulties to go straight! <laughs> 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 Okay, first fall of the day. Oh, these ruts are really deep, hey? Really deep, wow. yes. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> okay. okay, all right. Thank you. Okay, no harm done. Do you want to jump on? I'll hold you steady. Go in the middle on the island and just try to get enough momentum. Oh. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Maybe it's easier now. <laughs> Very difficult to ride here, but I mean, look how nice this area is, hey? Yeah, and there's some swans just over there. And all the wild flowers here. I love the summer. I love the summer so much. Look at that. <laughs> just want to pitch up my tent here and stay here. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of beautiful swans over there. Look at that. Yeah, it's just an amazing area with loads of little ponds and wetlands and birds. Oh, it's beautiful here. Love it. It's actually a bit easier if you stand up. It helps you to stay loose, you know, loose, loose, loose. Keep your body loose, keep balancing. Going through this gate. Stay, Charlie, stay. Whee! Whee! All right. Nice. What a morning. Guys, it's so good. It's more ridiculous. I mean, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was up. Just a second ago, a little bit. Yeah. But now I'm like, no way. I walk my way through here. This is a little bit too much. So. Yeah, wait until you see this. Oh my lord. Okay, I'm going to see if I can actually go through the rut. Okay, yep, you can. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, I just went down through the middle. It worked, but you gotta keep the pressure on so you don't get stuck. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Like to go through the middle here? I mean, the bike can't go anywhere, hey? Oh, oh. Oh. Okie dokie. Oh. 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 Oh.
Yeah, those van vans can chug through a lot, I tell you. Nice. Oh my God. <laughs> what did we sign up for? Oh my God, there's a lot of ruts here. All right, go, 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 go. Whoa, and there's a tree that you have to duck under. Be careful of that. Just stay in the rut and just keep chugging through it. Come on, come on. Hey, you made it! That was good! Chugging through, hey! I have to check my bike. Oh my god. <sighs> I'm dead. I'm so dead. You didn't fall off on that bit, and that bit was really hard. My bike became a tree. <laughs> I will try to get as much grass out. out. Look at this. Ugh. All this mud. All the mud. Okay. Yep. It definitely rained last night. What is going on here? <laughs> this is officially what I would call a mud bath. Oh God! What did you do? There's a rock Not there. Fair. Okay. Go up the yeah. left side. Yeah. See it? That was a big bang, wasn't it? It was. Oh. Oh. Oh my God! That was a. That was a bang. That was. If I'm lucky, that was just my bash plate. I think I'm stuck. You're stuck. Mhm. Mm <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Yeah. One, two, three, go. <laughs> okay, okay. Got it. I really hope that I didn't break my bike, you know. Oh my, bloody lord. <sighs> oh. <sighs> Good job. I did not realize it wasn't a gate. <laughs> I think if we, you come from the trail from the other side, you probably wouldn't go in, would you? <laughs> we did it. We did the hardest section so far. Oh yes, it's always a good sign when you see a sign that says unsuitable for motors. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, yeah. Oh, I can see him up ahead, up on the hill there. The long man of Wilmington. And we're just coming into the village of Wilmington, just in front. So let's see if we can find a place where we can get a really nice view of this amazing ancient work of art. Yeah, what is he holding in his hands? Like some sticks or something? Yeah, I think so. He's going for a walk. 
Let's Let's go. for a hike in the hills. <laughs> With his Nordic walking sticks. I think we'll just go straight. There's a free car park. I can see on the sign. Whoa, there he is. The long man of Wilmington. look very long hey why long he's called the long man because he's designed from this perspective to look like a normal proportioned person ah. but actually on the hillside he's much much longer than what we can see here it was actually designed to be viewed from here from the ground okay. is he in proportion <laughs> yeah he's kind of in proportion yeah and he's got these sticks on both sides of him. I don't think anybody's really sure about what that's about. I mean, it looks just like he's going for a walk on the hills, doesn't it? What is the white material then? <laughs> Wait a second. So what is the white material? Why is he so white? Well, I think originally it was um, just dug out. So it would have been chalk, which would have been underneath the grass. But in the Victorian times, I think they replaced it with bricks, like painted bricks. And now it's actually been replaced by white painted concrete blocks just to make it more visible from here. Okay. But actually, it's funny because during the war, they actually painted over it and camouflaged it because they didn't want the enemy aircrafts to be able to go see like, oh, there's the long man there. So we can know exactly where to like drop our bombs. It's really interesting though because they really don't know when this piece of art was created. Some people say it could be Neolithic, so very, very, very early on, thousands of years ago. Some people say Iron Age. They reckon it's most likely uh, in the sort of 4th, 5th, 6th century. Actually nobody knows, eh? But actually nobody knows. I like to think that it's an ancient Neolithic sign telling all the other people Get out of here, this is my valley. So the man is actually 72 meters tall, which makes him the largest depiction of a person in Europe. Wow. So there you go. Good job, Trans Euro Trail, giving us the points of interest. Thanks guys. Variation is important in life. Cheese and crackers. Thank you very much. So we just stopped here to get some fuel at the petrol station and we could not resist getting ourselves some nice little pastries. We were like, no, today we just eat our own stuff, our crackers and cheese, but you know, you can't walk past something cheesy pastry you know <laughs> so we've done about 70 miles today so we're doing pretty good half past three so we've got another hour and a half on trail so i think it's going to be a pretty successful day today yeah i think so too i think so too so far i love it i absolutely love it it's like i'm just super excited to continue this trail and every time we turn a corner it's like what is next what is next it's so cool i love it well, this is a very charming street. Look at this. Wow. Super traditional. Yeah, you know when it's traditional, when it's super narrow. <laughs> yes. So this village is called Alfriston. And it looks like it's definitely an ancient village. And look at these stone houses. Very charming. Very nice. Another beautiful little high street. So we're just coming through the historic town of Lewis and dealing with its one-way systems. Well, that's the really cool thing about this trail. It's not just showing us muddy little dirt tracks in the middle of nowhere. We're also getting to go through some really, really nice historic towns and areas. Yeah, we saw so many charming places already. I could have stopped all the time, you know. We are just coming into the village of Falking. And there's no reason why that has to be funny. But I just thought I'd let you guys know that this village is called Falking. Oh, look at that. Oh, that looks so pleasant here. And I really, really love the telephone cell, the English telephone box, you know. They are so cool. 
because as you know I'm from Germany and we don't have them and it's just like the symbol of England you know this red boxes yeah we're always having a good time in Falking hey first little hill <laughs> Woo! Woo! Oh, it's nice to be in the shade a little bit because I get really hot on these trails. Love this track here. Wow. Oh, it was a little bit slidey there. Oh, a little bit of mud here. Woo. Nice and easy, nice and slow. Woo. don't know if this oh. is the right way. Is this the right way? Is it? Not 100% sure, but... Oh, so many stinging nettles here, though. <laughs> please, please don't sting me through my gloves. Uh, uh, oh, no. Guys, this way is ridiculous now. Look at that. <laughs> please, please don't sting me through my gloves. We are on the right trail. Yeah. As hard as that is to believe, yeah. <laughs> this is correct. The public way. Yeah, just go here. Just go there. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, don't try. Have you got your visor closed? Yes. Okay, I was going to say, because otherwise you get some stingers in the face. Oh, going into a nice Holloway lane here. Look at this. Oh, okay. Wow. This looks like something out of the Lord of the Rings. Wow. Yeah, it does actually, now. Oh, how magical. Oh, there's a tree. Wait a second. Oh. Can I get round it? Yes. Just about. Just about? Yep. Ooh, yep. Just about. Oh my lordy lord. Okay, I will walk a Okay, yeah. That's a nice way though. It's nice. Oh, bushes. Oh, trees. <laughs> <laughs> England, this is ridiculous. Anyway, it's so nice actually just to follow a trail because on our around the world trip we had to make up the way ourselves, you know, and we had to plan our route. Yeah, I know what you mean. I mean, here I'm just literally just follow the red line. Yeah, and I just follow you. <laughs> <laughs> if you take the decision out of your hands, you just follow the red line, whatever's in front, you just do it. Yeah, just go with it, just roll with it. I love it so far. It's really, really nice. I love it. So it's coming up to five o'clock now and we've had a little look on iOverlander for some possible places to stay. The first is actually the overflow parking for a castle called Arundel Castle, which is coming up in two and a half miles ahead. And we saw on iOverlander that people had said that they allowed them to sleep in the overflow car park. So that seems like a good option. So we're gonna head to the castle now and uh, go and ask them if we can camp. Whoa, that is a big church in Arundel. Or Arundel. Don't know how to say the name. Whoa, look, every building here looks like a castle. Oh, and then there, I think that actually is the castle up ahead. Wow. Oh, this is a crazy town, isn't it? Look at this. Whoa. Whoa, look at this. Okay, so let me see. It says that uh, the overflow parking is here on this side of the road. I think I'll probably just pull up on the side here. Right, I'll go check it out. Okay, so the guys over at the castle entrance, they said that they do allow overnight stays in this car park, but only for camper vans and motorhomes and not for tents unfortunately but they did point us in the direction of a small pub camping which is only seven minutes from here called the ship and anchor i think they said it was 11 pounds per person which isn't too bad but this town arundel arundel 
It's so nice. I'm glad we came here at least to try and find a camping because otherwise we wouldn't have seen this place. Yeah, so anyway, it would be nice to just pitch up the tent, get a good rest because I can feel my hands as well. Like my hands, they have to get used to riding, using the clutch, using the brakes as well, even using the throttle. It's quite painful at the beginning, hey? Well, it was a lot of miles today. I mean, I think we've reached over 100 miles for the day. So even more than yesterday. We have done a lot of hours because this morning we started actually nice and early. And yeah, we have, we have been just on the bike, 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 you know. I mean, it's, it's so much fun as well. But my body is like, oh, it's a little bit achy here, a little bit painful there. Yeah, it's time for a rest. So let's go find a nice camp for the night. Good evening, guys. We made it. Happy and alive. Yo! <laughs> yes, we are here at this nice little campsite camping next to some reeds look at that <laughs> and we've got our incredibly muddy bikes behind us and campers and caravanners and some bikers over there I'm just loading up footage here in my little office ah. we have so many cameras I mean look at that guys that's actually insane <laughs> this is a ridiculous amount of cameras <laughs> but it's really cool about the tent here. Ollie can just work from this side and I'm actually on the other side and just getting some noodles ready for us to eat. Show me the noodles, show me the noodles. We're getting all in ho, today. Ho, ho. This is like here, chicken and mushroom flavor. Yummy. But we did really well on trail today. We made it 99 miles, <laughs> which is basically just one mile short of our goal of making it 100 miles a day. So far, three days on the trail, and we have yet to reach 100 miles, but we're getting better. Tomorrow we will get the 100 miles for sure. Yeah, I'm already excited to get back on the trail tomorrow. Me too. I had such a good time. Yes. I know we started off with a really, really difficult trail at the very yeah. beginning, and yeah. you had your first fall, Yeah. but your only fall of the day, mm -hmm. but it got really, really, really good. Yeah. We saw the Long Man of Wilmington, which was super interesting, and a castle, so, been an amazing day yes and that's it from us today we hope you enjoyed the video if so please give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel share the video with your friends and family comment below and we will see you next time but is it actually falking yeah falking that's what i said falking yeah so it's not no it's not